imagination gallery thank you for joining i'm so happy to see you all here today now let's know today's topic today in our indian heritage painting series we will imbibe the painting of the only art form in the history of art form in india which has a sequential representation of the story and is displayed in a series the folk art of the ang region bhagalpur bihar it's a manjusha folk art so be with us till the end there is always a story behind every painting friends it's a new week and that means it's time for imagination gallery and if you're an art lover then this is the channel for you because it's more than just learning an art it's a feeling it's the living with the heritage so just in between if you like our videos feel free to press the like button and today as you have seen already my dear friends the topic of the day uh, that we will be enjoying uh, the painting uh, is the rich folk art from bihar state of india manjusha painting is the name so it's the very first part of manjusha painting we are doing here in our channel and i must accept friends that i quite enjoyed crafting it it's very easy uh, painting and yet very delicate rich in colors yet very soothing it's like a package you know it's like any other indian art form uh, folk art form simple subtle but elegant and lies a rich history and story behind it it's a true representation of how india is friends manjusha art is an ancient folk art of ang pradesh and ang pradesh is currently known as bhagalpur city of bihar this art has been prevalent in bhagalpur for a very long time Manjusha art came to the forefront between the time period of 1931 to 1948. And during this period, you know, an I ICS officer W G Archer and his wife started finding out more about Manjusha art. He fell in love with the art form and put a collection together followed by an exhibition in the Indian Office Library in London. That exhibition became the part of Archer collection. Times this art was carved by only two families belonging to the Kumbhakar and Malakar community. Earlier, these paintings were drawn on pots by Kumbhakar, and, uh, which were worshipped, and the Malakars made the actual Manjusha and painted Manjusha art on these structures. The name of this art form also holds an interesting story. and the sanskrit word manjusha means a box and these boxes were made from bamboo jute straw and paper inside which the devotees kept their ceremonial materials the boxes were illustrated with paintings that tell a tale and the tale was of bihula who saved her husband from deity's wrath and a snake bite and also the bishahari or manasa when it comes to manjusha painting majorly you will see three colors uh, they are dominating and which are uh, pink or red green and yellow these colors hold a significance pink or red is for the care relation victory green is for nature and health and dark green associated with financial businesses and yellow is for joy young fun happy feelings confidence boost enthusiasm and optimism with respect to colors equally important here in this art is the border every manjusha painting must contain one or more borders and every work must have borders for example bel patra border in which the symbol of holy leaves of bel patra in hindu tradition we worship lord shiva 
and other gods with the bel patra leaves second is the leharia in which symbol of waves of river is drawn third a mokha is the kind of border design and decoration fourth a tribuj in which the triangle symbol borders are drawn and fifth is the sarp ki ladi uh, in which snake patterns are drawn on a border friends the manjusha art of bhagalpur and its adjoining areas is struggling for survival due to lack of proper encouragement from the government and other social organization unlike madhubani paintings of the mithila zadopetia of the santhal parganas and other folk parts of bihar the artists associated associated with the it are now compelled to switch over to other trades in order to make both ends meet the manjushas depict human beings in the form of letter x and it also portrays vishaharis with snake uh, their snake horses with the wavy lines of decoration but we are now able to prepare only to uh, 500 manjushas as artists say while in the past they used to prepare more than 2000 it is probably due to decline in the number of vishahari bhagats or the devotees and uh, as they say about the present status of this art friends government started state award competition on manjusha art in 2014 upendra maharathi shilp anusandhan sansthan came to the front and play important role for the revival of this art the vihar government has been making a lot of effort also to revive this craft and many skill upgradation trainings have taken place both in bhagalpur as well as in the nearby villages they have made a good effort in trying to make people aware of this craft and recently the bihar government has put a, together a committee which comprises of 11 people out of which four artisans will be present uh, to apply for a patent for the manjusha art form they are planning to patent it as a bhagalpur folk art currently various manjusha crafts are available on e-commerce sites like etsy.com amazon and etc and many more but i must say that uh, as we believe in imagination gallery it's not only government's uh, uh, effort that will uh, take forward our legacies and our soon to be extinct uh, folk arts uh, to survive but it's also us uh, who can buy these art forms Uh, from various e-commerce sites we can who can uh, draw uh, craft this also to uh, make it more valuable and to take these legacies forward manjusha art is the heritage of andhra pradesh according to vedic historians this art is the art of indus valley civilization and a recent study on manjusha art provides an excellent example of how this art reflects the history of ancient anga mahajanapada manjusha art is one of the famous art forms friends now the good news for the lovers of manjusha painting and other folk art lovers is that this painting will be reflected now on clothes also from sarees and salwar suit to shirts new and different designs were going to take place and it definitely will attract more people if all the people will come forward to take these legacies forward and here in imagination gallery my friends with all your support we want to take all the legacies forward of india rich folk arts extinct or uh, famous whatever let's celebrate the color of life with imagination gallery
can enjoy today's celebration of rich manjusha folk art and if you like our unique painting session then don't forget to subscribe our channel wishing you the best week ahead bye bye